everyone, David Giglio here, and in this video I will show you how to use the Antis Maxwell ED Current Solver, which is an AC solver in the frequency domain, to locate the points of maximum magnetic flux density. We can use the complex quantity of the B field, or we can use the real part of the B field, which is phase dependent, right? So you, to use the complex quantity, we go to field overlays calculator, we can go to the name expressions and select complex B, copy it to the stack. Then we could choose the, the geometry over which we want to compute uh, and locate the point of the maximum flux density. So I will use the E core, for example, click OK. And then we click maximum position. And then we click evaluate. And then it will show us the point where the B field is maximum. Right, and this is the coordinates here. Now, as I say, we can also use the real part of the B field, right? So we copied it. This is mag underscore B is the real part of the B field and it's phase dependent. So we would have to choose a phase, right? So copy the stack. Again, geometry, E core, click OK, and then maximum position, right, we need to specify the phase, so I'll, I'll leave it phase zero degrees for now, evaluate, and we get the same answer, right, now let's verify, we would have to verify, okay, what other angles, what, what, how do we know which angle, which phase angle the B field is maximum, right, so one way to know is to know the excitation, you know, the B field is the maximum when the current is maximum, right, so when you, at the phase angle, the current is maximum, the B field will be maximum. Also, we can, let me clear this. We can um, create an expression. I'll show you. So copy B field to stack, right? Mag underscore B, copy to stack. Again, geometry, E core. And then instead of maximum position, get assign maximum value. And then we could add this as a name expression, right? Give it a name. I already did it. And it is this value here, right? So if I clear this, copy the stack, right? Um, evaluate, that's the maximum B field, right? Now that, that's determine the phase angle at which this occurs. So we can go to um, results, right click fields report, and rectangular plot, which I already have created. So you can, um, Right, um, click the drop down, select phase, and then select um, B max E, right? So this is the value of the maximum flux density versus phase angle, right? Which I already created here, so let me just click this. So this shows the red plot is the real part of the negative flux density versus phase, and we see at zero, zero degrees phase, Flux is maximum, again, at 180 degrees and 360 degrees, um, but flux density is maximum, right? So it, it's positive, magnitude is great at zero degrees, and it, it's um, negative, you know, minimum at 80 degree, uh, at 180 degrees above, we're given the magnitude, so it's positive, right? So this is actually zero degrees, positive maximum, and then uh, 180 degrees is the neg negative, you know, the minimum, or well, the magnitude is the equal, right? And the orange plot is the complex magnitude of the B field versus phase angle, phase angle. And we see it's constant, does not depend on phase, which makes sense because complex quantity has a real part and the measuring part, and the magnitude of that is always equal, right? In a, in a sinusoid, a, a complex um, ph phaser, the, the, the magnitude is, is constant and the phase is constant. Now let's discuss, let's clarify something. What is phase determined in, um, defined in, in, in Maxwell? So when we say phase, see here, phase, this is actually phase delay. So it's, it's, um, but however, if we look at the manual, Right, omega t is the phase angle. So phase angle is omega t, and in the excitation, 
this phase is phase delay. And let's see, um, wait, hold on a second. We, you can find in the resources um, where this is defined as phase delay. So you can check the manual and you will see that's the case, all right? So let me see, anything else to discuss? Okay, so yes, so once we determine the the point of the the location of the maximum flux density, we can copy paste those coordinates into a point drawn in the model. And then we can plot that point and we see here that point is this over here. This point which I gave it like a pink color, right? And we see that also that this on the left color legend is the the um, color legend for the real part of the magnetic flux density. And we see if we right click this plot, click modify, let's change the phase delay. Excuse me. In this case, see this is a little confusing. Here, phase is the phase angle at which the quantity is evaluated, right? So let, let's choose um, 90 degrees. And we see that this is that value is going to change. So the maximum right now at zero degrees um, phase angle is 0.36. And we click apply. Now we see it, it reduced, right, to 0 0.00421. And the field distribution also changed because it's phase dependent. Now we go back to zero degrees, apply. And let's do the same thing now for this is the complex permeability. So now, if I choose, see right now at phase angle zero degrees is 0.36 um, Teslas, right? Now, if I switch this to, let's say again, 90 degrees, I click apply, nothing changed. The field distribution is the same and the maximum magnetic flux density is the same. And we can, I show you two ways to locate the point of maximum magnetic flux density. And I clarified the difference between phase angle and phase delay. Um, in, in the excitation, for example, here, the AD current solver uses a cosine reference, right, for, this, for, the, for the real part of the phaser, right? And if we use a Maxwell circuit, then we need to um, have that in mind. So if, if so, if we use a sinusoidal source, right? The phase here is here. Here's, this is what I'm trying to look. See, here it says phase is phase delay, but in the manual, their omega t is phase angle. So when you see phase alone. You have to distinguish, you have to identify, is that phase angle or is it phase delay? So in the sources, in the excitation, it uses phase delay. To evaluate the quantities, like the B-field plot, phase is referred to the phase angle by which to evaluate the, the B-field or any other quantity, right? So that is all, folks. Um, like this video if you like it. Subscribe to our Ozen Engineering YouTube channel. Keep informed. Be updated of new content we create and we upload constantly. Contact us to learn about our simulation capability and request a demonstration for us to show you how we can help you with your engineering projects. We provide training to use ANSYS tools. Um, visit us at www.ozeninc.com. Call us. You will find our number there, our email address to send us a number. Thank you very much and take care.